Have you ever felt like a strong and burning conviction that homeschooling should be illegal? I got one of those from this clip. You've probably seen it. Man, oh man, it is crazy. The only reason homeschooling has its reputation is because people are being held hostage by like evangelical stay-at-home moms who don't want their kids to learn about the round earth or whatever. I was homeschooled half my life. Yeah, it should be illegal. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Just like deprives you of necessary education, social function. It's just a way of, it's, it's, it's pedophile shit. It's predator shit. It's a way for like the patriarch of a family to keep the, the unit contained. Like don't be exposed to the evils of the world. Like stay at home. We'll control every aspect of your life. Never interact with other people. Crazy shit like that. Thank you, Unknown Anomaly. My goodness. Look at this. So we don't teach our children anything. Everything that they learn is in response to either their interests or their questions. It's more cult shit than pedophile shit. IMO, granted, there's a lot of overlap between those. There's a lot of overlap between those two, man. The, find me the history of any cult that what that were the, the the testimonies after weren't like, yeah, it was all about some guy accumulating 12 year old wives or whatever. We have no curriculum. We have no school hours. We really just respond whenever they want to know something and do our best to make sure they really get it. Can I point out the face tattoo because she's white? Like, can I, it's, it's fine then? Like, you'd all get angry at me because you're woke, but she's a white woman, so I can be like, you have a face tattoo. I don't know if I trust you with anything. And you can say like, oh, that's class bias. Why would you say that? And I would say, yeah. And my big fear about free schooling was that if my kids only went to work, like they name were interested too. in saving all of their real estate only for things they're interested in, not cramming it with anything necessary. I was concerned that they would never be interested in things like reading and writing and math. My son's six and it's also those eyes. Holy f yeah, this is like one of the more dilute Yakubian experiments. There's no denying it. Vosh, does she have an OF? Can you keep it in your pants, man? Can you, is that all you think? You think that's not sexist? You see like a hot bitch with titties and you're like, you you need to hate her, okay? She's f***ing up her kids. Don't you hear this shit? She's f***ing up her kids. Took some patience and not comparing myself to other moms, but this is his book. Look at this. Lamp. Look at this, dude. This is a six-year-old child. Uh, this is his book. Look at this. Lamp. You see that? Six years old. Lamp. This kid's f***ed, man. You've wasted the most potent years of neuroplasticity on watching your hippie cult mom do meth with her six boyfriends. Like, you you, you, you wasted that time. You could have been learning math, and you, in, instead you've been learning, like, how to pack a bowl. I, if for, it's, it's over. Lamp. Egg. Egg. Jar. Look at the, what, what are these clothes pins as bookmarks? What is this? Lion. Ugh. This is him doing this by himself. She's proud of this. She's proud of this. This is for her. This is like, it's a success. It's this modern hippy dippy, like, you know, go at your own pace homeschool parenting style where they're like actually human beings aren't meant to be taught things we're we're meant to allow our natural curiosity to guide us so i just let my kids do whatever the f and it's like damn dude you can't let kids do whatever the f if you gave a kid the total freedom they would kill themselves instantly accidentally because they're stupid that's why you have to protect them from the world that's the whole point of being a parent they would die they would go hug a car. In Florida, 50,000 plus kids have been pulled out of public school to go homeschooled and private schooled. N most of this, when it's done, is not just like the hippy dippy free learning parents. It's fascists, uh, white supremacists. Remember there was, what state was it in where it was found there was this entire homeschooling cult that was teaching neo-Nazism to kids? Which state was it? There was like a whole Facebook mom group and they were like, yeah, we're teaching the tenets of neo-Nazism to our four-year-olds. Ohio? Was it Ohio? Yeah, of course it's Ohio. Copying down words from other places, asking us more. Same with addition. Mom, what's seven plus five? 
it will come. Do you know the answer to that? Come at the right time. But if you do not like this idea of sending your kids away. Those eyes? Because she's strung out, dude. Look at her. I, I'm doing it. I'm bringing down the hammer, man. Look at her. You kidding me with this? Little mean? Little mean, this bitch is crazy. And she's ruining her kid's life. She's a, she's a lunatic. Vosh, she drinks her own menstrual blood. It was like, all right. It just so happened that I was on my period at that time. It was a full moon in Scorpio and it was bright red. So I said, all right, bottoms up. Let's okay. Valuable years of neuroplasticity wasted on being the spawn of this thing. More posts from homeschooling parents. Oh my God, dude, I've seen stuff like this. A number of the posts in the radical unschooling are parents panicking and exchanging ideas on how to falsify high school and college transcripts. I need help. My daughter did some book work, some co-op classes, and a whole bunch of just living life unschooling, all of which I did not document. My daughter is applying to our local community colleges and needs a transcript, something I'm absolutely freaking out about. I need sample to Dude, man, they're ruining their kids' lives. I hate these people. Way for 40 hours a week and then wondering why they have no energy to do anything else. If you are not into your kids conforming, trust that you can follow their interests and they will learn everything they need to learn, not what other people need them to learn. You're welcome. I, I, I think it used to be people looked at stuff like this and they thought this lady was left leaning. She's not left leaning. This woman is almost certainly some kind of esoteric fascist. This is something a lot of people don't know, but if you get into like the nitty gritty of fascist ideology, sure, the people posting the N-word on Twitter are all like pedophile 4chan users or whatever. But if you like engage with, I guess, the broader social scope, like churches and moms groups and stuff, a lot of women are like this and also like QAnon Trump supporters. It sounds crazy, but the, the whole like hippy dippy conspiracy demographic has almost been like completely subsumed by the right it, like it just doesn't exist on the left anymore you know and these people are harder to de-radicalize well they grow up in a cult basically i'm curious about how many kids do not like to ride bikes i keep getting rude remarks from certain members of my family about my 13 year old not being able to ride a bike She's just not interested in them. Even as a toddler, she didn't really like the little tyke's tricycle, etc. I've tried to teach her, but she just doesn't like them. These naysayers make it seem like she's not a normal kid because of it. All kids should know how to ride a bike. I know a few other kids who couldn't give a hoot about bikes as well. Well, that sounds normal enough. Oh, God. How do you all deal with your children's dental health when they are unwilling to brush well? Or brush at all, for that matter. I recently took my son to the dentist, and I was told that he had a ton of plaque on his teeth. His dentists were pretty concerned or his dentist was pretty concerned and said he'll continue to get cavities and have all kinds of problems later in life if he doesn't brush good. And I agree, because I've had teeth issues myself due to lazy brushing as a kid. He usually only wants to brush at night, but even then I have to give him gentle reminders. He'll still only brush for about 30 seconds. I've tried giving him a timer, an electric toothbrush, mouth rinse. He's totally uninterested in caring for his teeth. He doesn't want to watch videos on dental health or even brush with me. I'm at a loss. I know firsthand what it's like to have dental issues, and it sucks. I even told him that I really don't want him to have to go through what I did, but he still won't put proper care into his teeth. How can I apply are you? Are you? When his dental health and my wallet are on the line, I can't just let his dental health fall apart and my bank account drain because he doesn't like brushing. Forgot to mention his age. He's 11. Radical unschooling? Radical unschooling, that's it, yeah. I would love to hear from grown unschoolers. All the information I keep hearing is that reading will come when the child is ready. And yet I keep thinking, but I wouldn't learn another language without actively pursuing it. My oldest is almost nine and reading at probably a kindergarten level. The retention isn't strong. I have a seven-year-old similar levels, but is even less interested in learning how to read. I have two younger ones as well for context. I consider us child-led learners, though I'm so literal I don't even really know what that means. What? They aren't saying, today I'm going to learn to read, or today I'm going to learn how to knit, etc. Having been schooled my entire life, I wish I had the opportunities they have, the utter freedom to follow any passion. I wake up with a list of things I'd love to do. They wake up and play video games. And while that is all fine, I'm beginning to think it's become a default. Like, well, there's nothing else to do, and this is an instant dopamine hit, so I'll just sit here and game all day. 
I don't think restricting screen usage is the answer. Personally, I grew up with unlimited TV game access, and it's the last thing in the world I want to do with my time as an adult, but I wonder if that has less to do with restrictions and more to do with having experienced losing so much of my personal time, i.e. through a job, becoming a parent, etc. It's almost like I want to send them to school just so they can feel the value of their time. Does this make sense? Oh, man, I wonder if there's, like, a free institution you can put your children in that not only gives them, like, a regimented understanding of time and its value, but also helps them learn certain skills. Holy shit, these parents should be deported? Oh, God, I wish. Just wanted to say I'm very much dreading brushing my daughter's hair. It's been about a week and it's already thickly knotted. It's both long and super fine and has to be brushed very often to avoid getting that way. She doesn't want short hair, but she also doesn't want to brush it every day, and she doesn't want to brush it herself. I'm so tired of these epic detangling sessions, and I'm trying to find where my boundary is around all this. I know about the sprays and coconut oil and blah blah blah, but it's still a big production every single time. I'm tempted to tell her this is the last time I'll do a big detangle, and that I won't brush her hair anymore unless we do it daily. Then she'll have to choose between having short hair that's easier to manage, keeping it long brushing it daily, keeping it long getting it matted, is that fair of their ideas? To be fair, I'm not going to force her to cut or brush her hair. Edit. Things I didn't mention. She doesn't use shampoo or conditioner by choice. That's cool, man. These are the independent voters that Biden needs to reach out to to win. ...to do anything else if you are not into your kids conforming. I once read these movements aren't really political, they're just social clubs for white women. No, 100% wrong. These are absolutely political movements. 100% they are. Trust that you can follow their interests and they will learn everything they need to learn, not what other people need them to learn. This this individual has like a whole thing, like a like their own website. I initiate students into the second level of spiritual teachings. That's cool. Oh. Okay. There are also three levels of business. Oh my god. There are <laughs> There are three levels of teachings. All teachers begin at level one. There's also three levels of business. There are four kinds of magic. Okay. I just want you all to know that my level of Reddit atheism is so thoroughly developed that I believe that if you've ever once jokingly looked at your horoscope, you're exactly the same as this lady. Okay? I just want you to know what you are to me. Gentle parenting content was not on my algorithm until I was like three years into my parenting journey with my first child. Why are you so quiet? It was not gentle and I was doing the best that I could. I had reached out to people whose kids I loved, whose parent, whose families I loved and asked them what to do. But when I did it, what fit them didn't fit me. And I made a lot of mistakes with my first kid. So when the gentle parenting content started showing up on my algorithm, I'd roll my eyes, I'd ignore it, I'd be like, this is stupid, there's no way this works for me. Then I got defensive. Their kids are probably gonna be ruined. Good thing I make these choices with my kids. And I didn't know that underneath all of that was a really discouraged, really sad mom that so badly wanted to be able to She seems to live in a pretty nice recovery. house. I mean, she's got a whole website where she probably sells like cult shit, right? Maybe she married into wealth. Maybe she had it to begin with. So the whole the whole interview was about like you know the dangers of unschooling, and the person there was like a homeschooling expert that was like, well, my concern is that they're not going to be civic-minded members of a functioning democracy. <laughs> Damn, she's like far gone, and she doesn't even remember what the criticism was. That didn't make any sense. She just like. Like, she didn't even remember what the thing that was said to her was, because that was incoherent. <laughs> First of all, it's dysfunctional. But second of all, that's the whole point, <laughs> is to not pump out more civic-minded members of a functioning democracy. Lol, uh, so... <laughs> more cogs. I was born into the notorious doomsday sex cult, the children of God. Oh, she was born into the children of God. She was born into the cult. Like, it was from the beginning. I spent the next 14 years drinking, snorting, popping, huffing, binging, and purging everything. We couldn't tell. Okay, I feel bad now. Don't. Hurt people hurt people. Unfortunately, some people, either by, like, circumstance or their specific neurochemical makeup, are very vulnerable to cults, and they hurt a lot of other people, too. Yeah, she's propagating it. My friends and family all literally came from this cult. I'm sorry, Muck. 
my father was part of the case into the children of God. Apparently it was insane, the stuff they weren't allowed to release from the case. I'm telling you guys, much in the same way that, uh, like, fascism at its core is always about the sexual insecurity of men, uh, cults at their core are always about a, like, pedophile patriarch wanting to accumulate child-daughter brides. Um, I know that sounds reductive. Uh, it's also completely true. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Like, that's literally, that's literally it. Like, a cult is basically just a microcosm of a state in the, in the power structures you're trying to replicate. You're trying to build out a society in such a way that the only systems of power that you're directly answerable to are ones that you're in charge of, like, as the head of the cult. You're, you're trying to create, like, a micro-society, effectively. And, um, and I mean, in that, like, in that capacity, uh, you know, like you're, you're operating off the same basic pretext, I think, of sexual insecurity being the driving cause, which is why every single cult has a creepy pedophile guy at the top, you know, like Trump. Well, Trump was kids like well before he became president. I'm oh, sorry. This shit makes me so angry, man. These kids' lives are so... This should be good. My official statement on watermelon as a spiritual teacher. Hmm. I want to honor how difficult this has been for you as an activist to be aware of what's happening in Palestine and no matter how hard you fight and how hard you protest and how much you spread the news, it continues to get worse and worse and worse in front of your face. And I want to acknowledge how painful it is to realize that no matter how hard you try, you can't control it. And I want to acknowledge how it feels like giving up if you were to stop controlling it. And how could you possibly give up on all of these people? From an Earth's perspective, the reason why nothing can happen in this situation is because when the Jews were being genocided in World War II, nobody owed Germany money. In this situation, huh? a lot of people owe Israel money and they've committed. The money was low on the condition that they would sit on their hand when this went down. From a broader perspective, Earth is not very high what? on the chain of command. It's Earth's job to do what the planets tell them to do. And, and I know that this isn't something you want to hear, but I'm going to say it anyways. Joseph Campbell, the great teacher, asked his guru during a rite of passage, if God sees everything, knows everything, is in what? control of everything, how can I say yes to God's plan while acknowledging the suffering here and saying no to that, saying no to Palestine? And the guru smiled and said, for people like us, we have to say yes to it. And that was... Okay. This is spirit science shit. There are a lot of people like this, man. So you were absolutely right about the esoteric Nazi shit. Um, I don't think she was attempting to say anything anti-Semitic there. I think that sh this particular individual might be too far out there to cleanly align with any politically partisan belief, you know? It's kind of hard to tell, though. Structurally anti-Semitic, though. Well, the language of conspiracy and the language of anti-Semitism tend to overlap. I mean, who knows? Why was the melon in the title of that clip? It represents Palestine. I have friends who have turned into this. It's like a pacifier of fake insights and life lessons. Yeah, I think that's the desire for a lot of these people, right? They're insecure, they're not very smart, and they feel like they're being taken for a ride, and they're desperate for any kind of, like... Basically, they're looking for the spiritual equivalent of a get-rich-quick scheme, where you want the secrets of the universe unveiled to you and you specifically, because you're very, very special, you're a very special individual, you know, you've unlocked the inner eye, you know, you've opened the sacred door, you understand, and other people don't. And, uh, I don't know, it fosters a lot of delusion and narcissism. It's not good. It's very bad.